quick video on how to program kyber crystals using a Proxmark 3. I'm using a Proxmark 3 Easy. You might have a different version of Proxmark hardware, but these instructions should still apply to your Proxmark. Uh, the client I'm using is the, the master client or the standard client. You might have a different client. That's okay. The syntax might be different from what I use, but the, the, the ideas will still be the same, and you'll just need to work out what the syntax is for your client to get this to work. The kyber crystal I am using is a custom teal kyber crystal that comes from Jando's shop on Etsy. And I will include a link to Jando's shop down below. I don't think that there are any teal or orange crystals in stock right now, though. But if you keep checking back, if that's something you're interested in, they should have them in stock at some point. Let's take a look here at the Proxmark 3 client. Step number one is make sure that it can see the crystal. I'm going to type an LF search. I'm going to hold the crystal over the antenna, just a little bit above the antenna. Hit enter. It doesn't see anything. That is okay. I just need to move it down a little bit. I was holding it up too high. There it is. Great. And we can see it has a code on it of 3123. I think that's a Snoke. I was playing around with this before. Let's change it back to its original form. Now, the first thing I want to do is let's look at the contents of it. EM for EM. So if I type in LFEM, I get a list of different commands that are available for this version of the client. You should do the same thing to see if you have the same commands. If you have different commands, that's okay. All you need to do is figure out which command in your client corresponds to the one that I'm going to use and what the syntax is, and, and everything else, the ideas of the numbers and everything I do here will be the same for you. So I want to just dump the contents of it real quick. So we have this command here, 4x05 dump. If I do LFEM 4x05 dump, I can bring this crystal over here, and hit enter. And there we go. There is all the contents of the uh, Kyber Crystal uh, RFID tag. Now what we are interested in here is address 6. This controls the what, what your crystal is seen as to holocrons and lightsabers. So I'd love to be able to say, you know, there's a very easy formula for figuring out what that value needs to be. It's not. This kyber, the RFID tag in kyber crystals are emulating a protocol for an, a different type of RFID tag. And the data that that other RFID tag transmits the, and the way it, it, it does error correction and all sorts of stuff, all that junk is calculated into this number here. And the formula isn't. There's no straightforward formula. So what I'm going to do is just give you a table that says this is the value for address 6 for this uh, this color crystal or this character. Uh, I'll include a link to the, the spreadsheet down below, but I'll show you the sheet here now. This part of this spreadsheet here that's online, and you can see right here I've added this column address 6, which has all those different values here. And then you can see what color that Kyber crystal will be if you use that address and what character you'll get. So if you want uh, Ahsoka Tano, there's your, your, your number. If you want Temple Guard, there's your number. If you want uh, Count Dooku, there's your number. Or Mace, or you want a Yoda 8-Ball, or Snoke, which is what I was playing around with earlier. There are all the numbers. Again, I will include a link to this down below. So you don't have to sit here and pause the video to copy down all these numbers yourself. There will be a link to this spreadsheet that I'm using down below. Okay, so what do we want to change it to? Well, this is a teal crystal, so let's change it back to teal. So I'm just going to copy the value for that and change back over to here. And now what I need to do is I need to write that value to the crystal. So what, what command is there to write? If I look at all these commands here, I have this uh, 4x05 write word command. 
and it includes the parameters that I need to provide for that command. So if I do lfem 4x05 right word. Now, if I don't type anything else in and hit enter, it's going to give me an example of how to use it, what the correct syntax is for this command. So if your client is different, figure out what command is the right command. That's right with a W, not an R. And then figure out from the sample or the examples that will pop up when you run that command with no options or no parameters, figure out what the correct syntax is for your client. Uh, for me, I'm going to do an LFEM4X05 right word, A for address, 6, D for data, which is the data we just copied from that spreadsheet. And then if you, uh, if you have a Kyber crystal that you've used, uh, that, that RFID right or the handheld one with the screen on it, um, that sets the crystal so that it requires a, a password before you can change data on it. You would have to also add P for password and then zero. Um, this crystal that I'm using here isn't locked, uh, but if yours is, this is how you can get around that. Uh, because my crystal isn't locked, I don't need it, but I can put this P0 in the command and it doesn't hurt anything. So I'm going to leave it there. So now the next step, the trickiest part, is finding just the right location to hold the crystal over the antenna so that it'll see it and be able to write to it. And I've covered this in a previous video, but the way I'm going to do this is I just place it right in the middle, right down in the, the middle of the antenna, so the, the bottom point of the crystal is touching the, the plastic going over the antenna here, and I'll try it. And it says, right could not be verified. No problem. I'm going to bring the crystal up a couple uh, millimeters. Try it again. And there we go. Right verified. And then they can do a dump again. I'll just keep hitting the up arrow to recall all the different commands I've called. Run the dump command again. And this time we see address 6 has this 4A8. 4A803. Well, let's go back over that spreadsheet. 4A803. That looks good. You can also confirm it by just doing an LF search. Again, hold the crystal over the antenna like so. And we can see it sees the crystal. It can see it sees that it has a code of 3077, which we can go back to the spreadsheet and see. Yep. 3077. That is good. All right. So one last thing. I just want to cover before we finish is when something goes wrong. So I'm going to bring up this right word command and this time I'm going to purposely put a bad value in here and I hope this is a bad value. I'm just taking a guess but I've changed that 8 to a 9 and now I'm going to do a right word to it and it says it verified good. Now I'm going to do a search and it doesn't see the crystal. It's okay, the crystal isn't broken. What's happened is um, the address 5 and 6 contain, and think of it as encoding, it's, it's data that's emulating a specific RFID protocol. So when somebody says, hey, what, what number are you? It spits back the data in addresses 5 and 6, and the RFID readers will recognize that as being part of a specific protocol. By making that number wrong, I've broken that protocol. It's not sending data out in the way that it should, that an RFID reader will recognize it. The fix is simple. Just do a write again with the correct number in there instead of the bad number. So what was the correct number? For a 803, for a 803, that's the correct number. The crystal is, uh, the RFID tag is still there, still functioning. It will still respond to write commands like this. Write verified. And if I do a search, it sees the crystal again. So if you run into a problem or you make this change and then suddenly your Proxmark 3 or, or other RFID readers can no longer see your crystal, don't worry. It just means that you put the wrong, the wrong number into address 6 and you need to go back rewrite the correct number to address 6, and that should fix you. So that's about it. That covers how to change your Kyber Crystal with a Proxmark 3. Again, 
a link to this spreadsheet that I'm using will be in the comments down below, a link to Jando's shop, uh, where you can get that teal Kyber crystal or orange or glow in the dark Kyber crystal or who knows what else they'll be offering. Uh, will also be a link to that shop will be in the description below. Good luck, and if you have any questions or problems or anything, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.